So we just got done talking to Jeffrey, and he gave us a little intel. There might be land up for sale close to us. Let's get to it. Man, is that John Deere dealership green? Ooh. Man, that's uh, got a lot of green on it. So, we're talking to Jeffrey, and he happened to pass some information. He knew that this piece of land touches some of our land that we own. Uh, he said this guy was basically went bankrupt and was hiding a lot of equipment. He was known for basically hoarding. Uh, he was known for going to your farm, picking up tires, picking up, you know, just junk that you had around the farm. He, he just wanted to have it to basically hopefully sell it for scrap iron, sell the tires for used rubber, recyclable rubber. I think, I think we already actually passed the piece of land. Yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, look it up on my phone a little quickly. But the piece of land is back over there. I'm pretty interested in buying it. One, it touches our land, which would be kind of nice because we'd have a lot of land together. Uh, pretty much every farmer wants all their land together, hopefully. So I'm kind of interested because Jeffrey did say there is at least one building on that farm. Uh, he did some custom work for him before he went bankrupt, had to sell the farm through the bank, and he remembers an old barn by a stream. So, I don't know, I'm, I'm a little bit interested. I know the guy was hiding a lot of stuff from the banker, he got in trouble for it, he actually got some jail time, which is unfortunate for the farmer but uh to be honest you know that type of thing might be kind of interesting uh a hoarder in a barn i mean i'm hoping it's just not all junked and tires and, or something like that but why not let's go check it out to see if we can get into it or not so uh we're not supposed to be actually looking at the piece of land uh, eat just yet because it's not exactly uh, up for bid it's supposed to be a blind bid so the bank is selling it the piece of land as is uh, they did have a agronomist come out and show us the soil type so it's mostly clay a little bit of gravel uh, sand it's definitely rich soil so man I didn't even know I had that building on my farm this is my land, right? Yeah, I own... I own this whole stream area here. Huh. Wow, I did not know... This was even on my land. Hmm. Yep, it's locked up. Hmm. tell you what that's gonna be another project we are gonna figure out how to break into our uh, piece of building I'm not gonna have a building on the farm that I haven't went through yet you never know there might be the million dollar you know item in there you never know probably not but it's, people have done it in the past and too, I mean, even if we don't find anything, it's fun to look. Never know what you'll find in an old barn. Ooh, this is gonna be a little bit dirty. A little bit muddy right here. Ooh, yeah. A little bit, uh... That's quite the river bottom there, or stream bottom. I guess that's not really a river bottom. So... This land right here, we own. So we do own this little bit of hilly ground. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I'm 
thinking that piece of land by my farm over there is going to be alfalfa. But I was thinking this would be a good alfalfa field. The only thing is, it's really bad when you're round baling and you uh, bale on a hill like this. Because you always have to face the bales away from the basically the slope. So I don't know. I mean, this is kind of a odd shaped field, so it's probably might be good for alfalfa. But uh, I mean, it would be kind of cool because this would make this just a beautiful like sunset area. This all grass. You got your little uh, pond over there. You got the alfalfa over there by the field, but thinking would probably just put this in grain unless uh, we really grow fast in cattle but you never know if Jim lets us use his little uh, cattle yard we might have a need for an extra field so so I don't yeah so I own up to this river bottom so this is not actually, it's pretty dried up river bottom it looks like. So then you go up, so this, yeah this is the field. So the agronomist was right, so it is uh, basically dark soil. Should you know, it's got a lot of clay in it, but it's, you know, it's got gravel too so this type of soil should dry out quickly we shouldn't have a problem getting stuck speaking of that do I see something through them trees over there let's go over here and look yeah, that, it's quite the size of a barn Jeffrey dad didn't say it was that big huh? Is that tires in front of it there and I do see a lot of tires. Hmm. Hmm. Do a little quick drive by. You know, just get the feel of the place. You don't you know you don't just roll up on a place that you're not supposed to be at. Is that a window right there? Man, I just I think I just have to look in the window. Run over here quick. Oh, I see a John Deere. Is that a Toyota? Toyota, that's for sure. That's a Toyota. I don't see anything else. Who, yeah. Oh man. Ah man, I just want to look in there so bad. Problem is, is we're not supposed to be here and I got to move all these tires out of the way. And this door has some barrels. They're like filled with water or something, man. This door has tires in it. Man. Uh, oh yeah, ow, that's not worth draw walking through. Man, got bales put over here. Can I jump up there? Uh, uh, can't see anything, can you? Oh, I don't really see. I don't know if I see anything. Well, shoot. So there was no trespassing signs up there by the road. And, you know, let me give me one more look. Just give one more look. I can't quite make out. So that is, I would guessing that's a 4000 series John Deere. That's got to be a older Toyota. Something, yeah. 
Man. I'm gonna try to... I think I'm gonna try to get this bid. Yeah. I mean... I'm gonna drive around this field just to make sure this is good land, but... You know, I'm so curious about this barn, this hoarder's barn that... Man, I want to look into it. Man, I'm gonna... Can't wait. Now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna bid for this place. So... I haven't seen really a land marker yet. So I might have to look at a, some type of map to find out what exactly piece of, what land we get with this property. Now I don't know. So my guess is it might follow this riverbed. But I don't know where this land. I don't know who owns this long piece of land right over here. This little mound here. But it seems like there used to be an old uh, riverbed that's basically been uh, shrubbed where the grass has grown in right here. But that, So that might be the landmarking. But I have not seen a landmarking yet. So some of the times they have them see or uh, they have the land marking indications buried so basically you have to dig down to make sure that the neighbor isn't farming on your land so let's see if I can see one over here Sometimes they have one of these colored or fence posts with a marking on it. Nope, I'm not seeing anything, so... Not exactly the amount of... Don't know the amount of acres we get. So if you go right up on that hill, right over them trees right there, that's where the Platte Valley put up their new dealership. Whoa, I didn't plan that very well. But, uh, so this piece of land, so our piece of land, you can see the tarp of our uh, bins and silos right there. So this is fairly close. Might be about a mile and a half down the road, but not a bad piece of property. Pretty interested, that's for sure, so. Hmm. All right, so. I need to go to basically the realtor's office to put in my bid to find out if we get this piece of land or not. So I'm definitely going to bid something. So now the question is, what should I bid? So Jeffrey isn't going to bid against us. Jim, it's probably a little bit far for Jim's operation, so I don't think he'll be bidding don't know about any of the other local farmers so hmm, we got to think about this so we don't overbid like I usually do I think I'll go into my office and do a little figuring up see what we should bid here can't do math in my head very well so I don't know about you guys but that just don't work great with my head so let's see what we can do here so it's a 50 acre field and 40 acres of it is farmable land or basically already plowed up and ready to be planted farmland. Now I really want it just so I can call it the North 40. I mean, that would be cool to have the North 40 as a property name. Uh, so I'm thinking 200,000. So it's a little bit over the average going price so I think it's a pretty you know popular piece of land you know even the Platte Valley may bid against us but uh, I don't 
I think that's probably a good bid. I don't know if I will be... Don't really know who else will bid against me local. We don't really have a farmer other than Jeffrey and Jim. There is some farmers down the road down here, but uh, I don't think they're going to bid, but I, you, I don't want to take that chance either. So I think I'm going to bid, so it's probably, I'm bidding probably 20000 over the normal uh, acreage costs here. So, you know, and that's figuring you know all 50 is farmable land too so I may be really outbidding this but I'm gonna go here and see we're gonna go down put our bid in and then uh, we should find out tomorrow morning if it is uh, accepted or not all right so our bid is in so we should be able to sleep on it hopefully we get some sleep tonight and find out in the morning what we, if we won. And I really want that uh, old 4000 series John Deere. You know, I was thinking while I was driving over here, it's a little bit big for like a 4020 or 4010, whatever. It just seems a little bit bigger. So, you know, I just don't. I think it may be uh, 4630. It's my guess. Not positive, but uh, would be awesome. You know, uh, basically we would have another tillage tractor, which would be kind of cool. Which would basically fit into our scheme because you know tillage tractors don't need a cab. That's that's normal. You don't need a cab for a tillage tractor. You just need one for the planted tractor because that's the one I drive. But uh, we will sleep on it tonight and see if we win this in the morning. So I didn't sleep hardly at all last night. I've been so excited. I've been waiting for this phone call all morning. I just want to rummage through an old abandoned barn. I mean, who doesn't want to do that? Let's, I mean, yeah, it's great. We get more land, but uh, I just want to rummage through a uh, hoarder's barn. I mean, hopefully I won't find any uh, needles, or I probably need my tetanus shot to get it all up to date. But uh, sounds like fun to me. I'm in. So, we're supposed to call anytime. Anytime now. Get the phone call so we can figure out if we can... This farm will be ours. Oh. Getting a call here. Hello? Hello, is this Stevio? This is Billy Bob's Realty. Oh, tell me the good news. Tell me the good news. Come on, come on, come on. Tell me, tell me. You were the highest bid. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yeah, yeah, yeah. What do I need to do? Sign some legal documents and give us a non-bouncing check. All right. Congratulations, Stevio, on your new purchase. Hope to see you in a little bit. All right. Are you just going to keep saying all right? Jeez. All right, I'll be right there. Hey, uh, Buck. Buck likes sleeping under my uh, truck here. He's a little crazy. Buck, I wanted to take the, the lifted Chevy today. Well, guess we're not taking that truck. We're not going to disturb Buck. That's a bad thing to do. But guess we gotta take this. I was hoping to drive that today, but oh well. Alright, so we just gotta go down there, pay them the check, sign some paperwork, and basically the land should be ours. Alright, so the land is officially ours. I wrote the check, didn't bounce, thank goodness, but uh. Now, I think I'm going to go back home, probably grab one of my trailers. Uh, it's probably just good to pull the trailer down there. I know there's at least something in that barn. It's worth pulling back. We're all hooked up. We are ready to rummage through an old barn.
most farmers would be, you know, looking at the land, planning, you know, seeing if they had to purchase extra seed, extra fertilizer for the year. Not us. We are gonna go rummage through an old abandoned barn. I don't really know. I guess this is abandoned, basically. It looks like he put a lot of work into keeping people out. Making sure, you know, it wasn't easy to get anything out. You know, everything is stealable. That's even a word. If you put enough time and effort into it. But, you know, you can discourage uh, theft enough. Hopefully they'll just move on and go to the next easier target. And that looks like what he was doing, which makes me pretty excited. Because if you're going to do something like that, you've got to have something in there good. I mean, if all we end up getting is that truck... Is this our turn? Yeah, this is our turn. That, that Toyota truck and that... Uh, 4000 series John Deere I'm gonna say it's a win for us all right so hmm man I wish my cousin was around don't really pay her to help me move all these tires I gotta move all these tires mm, man hopefully I brought my bolt cutters that might be an issue. And I kind of forgot to think about that. Probably should have grabbed some jumper cable. Probably should have grabbed some jumper cables. Some gas. Oh, I do have my boat colors. Alright. We're in luck. But I don't have gas and I don't have my jumper cables. That might be an issue. We'll see. Whoo! Pick up all of these tires. Move them out of the way. We might be here a while. And is there ever a lot of tires over here? You know, if this place, if this barn ever went up in smoke, you don't have to worry about the fire department not knowing it's on fire because they are definitely going to know it's on fire. There's no way they're not going to know. And do we have some tires around here? Might have to uh, pay the tire company. I know they sometimes pay a little bit for these tires. Give them to them, they'll pay you a little bit of money chop them up use them for I don't know exactly I know you can get like mats and stuff I think they make park furniture and everything with them children's furniture or children's playground stuff <sighs> oh man look at all the tires you know the bad thing about lifting them tires is there is like dirty nasty water in every single one of them and that gets all over you and they all stink but it was worth it let's see what we got let's see if we can open this up there we go uh oh let's see nothing interesting yet uh, we got piles of rubble we can definitely make a, some concrete. Got an old milk jug there. An old bicycle. And, oh, bummer. Nothing worth that much money. Ooh, we got some bags of concrete, just in case we want to make more concrete. Let's see uh, yeah I don't know if he filled these with concrete or what wow they are heavy uh oh 
You know what that means, right? It's the nasty tire throwing time again. Here we go. Just seemed like we we're just doing this. I think while we're doing this, I think it would be kind of fun to see how high we can stack these tires. Be a little challenge over here. Not doing the best job. So I know you guys ain't gonna believe me, but I actually had it one higher than that. So, uh, of course, I knocked them all over before I could get it on film. But, I mean, it's somewhat, you know, impressive. I mean, who here has never made a four out of tires? I know I had, when I was a kid, I used to make fours all the time with tires. But, uh, maybe I'm just weird. All right, so I can't wait any longer. I have to look in here. Let's see, let's open this up. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. What do we got? What do we got? Ooh, ooh. What do we got? We got an old forts in here. That looks like it's rusted to basically. Uh, there's not one non-rusted portion of that. We got another another old uh, Fortson uh, tractor there. Old uh, metal wheels. Well, let's see. I just have to look at this. Oh, yeah, here we go. What is this? What is this? A forty-six twenty. Now he looked like he was trying to bury this thing in tires. I mean, there's tires all the way around it. Wow. Man. Look, it's got them... It's got pretty big front tires on it. I mean, this... Man, I, I kind of like this old 4620. I have no idea. We are going to be here all day long. I think he basically... Pretty sure... Pretty sure Dave that owned this land prior to the bank taking it away was trying to make this probably harder to steal or you know people interested in possibly stealing it so he basically that might have been why he was taking all these tires he would just you know basically bury the stuff in the tires and then no one could steal it you can't hardly walk in it I mean ugh, man, he, you know worst thing I hate about you know these tires or whatever they seem to like attract snakes and I do not want to see a snake you'll hear me scream like a little girl out of this barn and come back with a shotgun alright what is this uh Toyota this is, you know, it kind of, it's almost out of place in this barn. I mean, it's its newer than that John Deere, that's for sure. But it's, maybe, what is this? Oh, maybe 80s? Toyota? A little, you know, truck? I used to think these things were so cool looking. Man. Ah, man, that is so cool. Not for sure. Obviously, this is a uh, four-wheel drive. Looks like it's definitely got a full lift kit on it. Probably, what, eight-inch lift kit? Maybe 10, 12? Uh, it might be, it might be a 10 or 12-inch lift. It's got a round bar bumper, a tube bumper here. Looks like it. Uh, it's made basically. I think they call this a dune bumper, but guys and girls will have to uh, correct me. I'll probably say that wrong. Not positive at that. It's got uh, some old white wall uh, rims on it. Well, them are definitely mudding tires. It has on it Look at that little itty bitty uh, exhaust pipe. That's so cute. Look at that little guy. Mm, it's got a what is that a Fox suspension on it? That's nice. It's got some 
Buckle up. I want to try some. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that scene. Man, I, I really want to put that on my truck. Man. I wonder. Man, I'm going to have to get another one of them. Yeah, it's kind of cool. It's got a uh, first in flight. Not positive. North Carolina. So that explains the Carolina crawlers. I mean, this made it, what, halfway across the U.S. here? It's a to Toyota Hilux. It's got a toolbox in the back. Hmm. Yeah, there's a little Fox Air Strut there. Let's see inside the cab. This door open. Can we? Do we have to move some tires here? I think we got to move some tires. Move that out of the way. Well, in here. That's kind of nice. Not a terrible interior there. They left the interior pretty stock. They did put a little uh, CB down there on the bottom of it. Oh, yeah. This thing even starts. Can you believe that? How cool is this? You can barely see out these side windows, though. Man, they, they're a little dirty. You're going to have to clean them off a little bit. But how cool is this thing? Man, it's even got a stick shift. Manual transmission. Hmm. Better shut it off before... It, I mean, we need to check the oil and all that stuff. Check the fluids before we get too crazy. Man. That is nice. Yep. That's going to be a nice... I did not even see this. What is this, an old International Harvester? This is an old International Harvester. Look at this old girl. Let's see what the placard says. International serial number. Can't make out the serial number. Looks a little bit uh, worn off. Or the model. Do not overload. All right. Challenge accepted. So if you want this, go to Winter Modding. Not a bad old uh, harvester. Don't know. Yeah. The key. Yeah, we don't even have the keys for this. All right. So now the major question is, is how in the heck are we going to get this stuff out of here? Ooh, man. I'm going to have to find me a hired hand around here so I can basically... They can help me get all this junk. Jobs like this. I can just have them do it and I can sit in my lawn chair and watch them do it. Nah, I want to do that. And yeah, we need to get to tossing this stuff. Where is the best place to get this stuff out of here? Man. Alright. Guess. Just one at a time. Move these tires. Alright, so we finally got all this stuff out of there. I do not want to see another tire again forever. And tires are so annoying. Every single one of them has something nasty in it. Spider. Thank goodness I did not see a snake. Who do not like the snakes. We didn't see a snake, but we basically saw every other critter that lives in Missouri here that doesn't slither. Lizard, everything you want. At least I'm not scared of them like I am a snake, because... If you would see me around a snake, it would be kind of embarrassing. But I'm really liking the looks of this Toyota. I mean, man, that thing. So glad I found this thing. This thing is sharp looking. Another, uh, basically, uh, mudding vehicle on the farm. 
I'm gonna have some fun with this. You know, this is a nice little work truck. Nice truck, you know, to enjoy driving around and you can use it for working too. These old Toyotas, man, they were built like a rock. They were almost indestructible. Probably they were kind of a little bit underpowered, but hopefully they he did a little work to the engine to give this a little bit more power. But we'll see. Uh, you know, this harvester, it might be fun one day to get it up and running. See if we can, uh, you know, have some fun with it. Wouldn't be a bad thing, I don't know. Uh, the good thing is basically almost all of it is here on the outside so if you break a belt basically bam done put a new one on don't have to take any guards off or any of that crazy stuff and them belts are kind of held on weird where is that pulley at looks like we are missing a pulley and them belts are stiff as a board so didn't quite get this uh, tractor running this old diesel I just think it needs some new uh, diesel fluid or some get or basically just put some uh, starter fluid in there and some new diesel fluid I'm gonna change the filters and everything see if I can may probably change the battery too and see if I can get it to crank because uh, I'm gonna need this tractor real soon I mean them front tires, I just think, look so cool. Hunting comb tread, I think they call them. But, but we need to get out of here. We need. We have some tillage work to do. We got a lot of farm work to do. We got cattle. We got to get to our farm sooner or later. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Missouri. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe.